Welcome back to Crypto Games for another video. I just had the most insane discussion that had never come across my mind really in the last sort of few months that I really want to talk about. And it's an interesting topic. And I think it's something that we should really talk about on this channel because if it ever happens to you in the future, maybe I can give some sort of personal tips that I do in my life when it comes to crypto. And yeah, hopefully you never experience this situation. So if it's that interesting, drop that like. Never really thought about this before. And in, I've, I've been told it's happened to me before in the past. You know, people have kind of tried to hint at me of doing this sort of thing as well. So it's it's a learning curve for me, but more specifically for this person in particular, right? So someone that I know, she was told, trust me, this is a mad one, stick around. Uh, I've, I've never done any of this, right? It's all, I never even thought that it's even, well, I know it can be possible in crypto, but more so you see it in the real world. And we're talking about money laundering, right? She was told by her father, which there's a lot of people that need to get really educated on the crypto space and the the whole financial system in general. So you can really understand, because it's a serious topic, right? She was told that if she made $100,000 plus and she's living in one country, and then she decides to go to another country to cash out that she is considered money laundering. And that's a very bad statement to teach your children or your daughter or whoever it is. And I think that we need to really address this. So hopefully you guys can understand. We can talk about some tips and things that I've done in my past with crypto. Because, you know, because that could go, because put it like this. First of all, let's try and work out. What is money laundering, right? Because I know what money laundering is. Having been in the financial system for years, you guys should know it as well. And most most of the time when you hear money laundering, you think of uh, criminals that do illegal activities. Maybe they've, I don't know, stolen money from bank accounts and tried to wash it to make it clean and look like it's come from a clean source. That's usually the definition of money laundering. Or you have people that go to casinos that done some illegal gambling or I don't know whatever it is and then they gamble the money to try and make it look like it's clean because if you win it it's clean money right and I don't gamble much either <laughs> I put a hundred dollars in the casino about two days ago I lost the whole damn lot and that was it <laughs> so I'm good in crypto I'm just crap on the slots um, and that's as far as it goes for me I wait another six months and then I try another hundred dollars on the uh, on or euros on the slots again because you know I'm in Spanish islands right I'm just here chilling in in the villa but it was such a serious topic and I want to talk about it because it does open my mind to how people think about people that make money in crypto, right? Serious, serious talk. So he said to her that if you make, if you had a hundred thousand dollars and you try to sell it outside the country, you become a money launderer. And that's really wrong. And it's sad that he hasn't got enough education behind it, right? First of all, if a person that makes money in crypto, let's let's focus on the UK because I'm from the UK, you know, it's simple. If you're someone that's in the UK and you make, let's say, £100,000 or $100,000 in the UK and you decide to sell it in the UK, you have to pay this thing called capital gains tax. And you all know it, right? So if you decide to cash out your money, uh, to, uh, I don't know, Coinbase, because you've got to go for the exchange first, right? And I've sold through Coinbase. Matter of fact, I've showed you a recent video showing you how to sell and everything else, your cryptocurrency, right? So, you know, I do my stuff legit. If I want to sell crypto, I do it from an exchange that's regulated. The governments can see all your payments. That's how you should do it if you want to sell. And then you also need to make sure that you keep that flipping money for tax, because if you don't, the tax man will come right? So uh, we'll talk about the tips that I can tell you in a second, but you've seen the video, right? So um, it's important to address this because if you decide to sell in the UK, you pay 20% capital gains tax. If for however you decide that you don't want to sell in the UK and actually you want to try and earn more of that money, there is nothing wrong with you going to another country. You have English expats that leave the UK and they go to places like Dubai as an example because Dubai what's it the other one uh, 
Camelian Islands. I don't, there's loads of them. But, but Bahamas, there's a bunch of different countries in the world that give you zero tax. And then you have other countries that offer you low tax, 2 to 3%. I think Portugal is one of them. I think so. So if a person makes money in crypto and you don't cash out, and you decide, you know what, I want to try and get the most of this. Because, you know, I've, I've, I've taken some risk. I've been working hard. I've been putting my money in. And now I want to cash out. And you decide you want to go to another country to sell it. That does not make you a money launderer. And I've got to keep it straight up real. If you decide to get a residency in the Camelian Islands or the Bahamas or I'm trying to think of all these places with like low tax, uh, D Dubai, Right. If you decide to go to Dubai and become a resident of Dubai and then you sell your crypto in Dubai, you are now living under the Dubai laws, which means you sell at the Dubai laws, the tax laws. So in that, for their example, it's zero tax. You pay zero capital gains tax on the, on the, on the assets that you sell. If you sell your crypto, if she sold her $100,000 worth of crypto in Dubai and she did it all properly, she got the visa, she now is a resident of Dubai, she's now under the Dubai law, she does not become a money launderer. And I think this is important that people understand and really educate themselves because what's happening is people are becoming rich in crypto. And I think people that watch this channel, you're going to become very wealthy in crypto. And you might have fallouts with your family. They might say, start to say things that they do not even understand because they have not educated themselves properly. And I really think it's important that they educate themselves to understand the financial system, understand how it really works. You do not become a money launderer. The only way you do is if you do something illegal. If you earn that money illegally, meaning that you've taken money from an illegal source and then you're trying to cover it up, meaning like people do drugs and they sell drugs and uh, they try to, uh, again, I don't know. I remember watching this thing with Hugh Grant. Is it Hugh Grant? Not not in here or the other one. And they were selling like paintings to cover up the money laundering on that it's a funny movie it's a comedy but that's a fine and you've probably seen it. i can't remember what it's called drop the comments if you know uh, but that's a fine example of how that kind of thing works right now i can tell you a few tips that i do in crypto the practices that i take that you could do as well because i've i've sold in the uk when i was a you know i'm not a, i'm not a resident of the uk anymore and this is another thing <laughs> understanding the difference between become, being a citizen and a resident of a country. If you are a citizen of the UK, you will always remain a citizen of the UK unless you apply to change your citizenship, which means you can then get a passport for a new new country that you decide to live in. That's kind of hard sometimes to do, um, but it's very easy for you to become a resident. Or, I'm looking, yeah, I see it's, it's much easier for you to become a resident of a country because, you know, you apply for the visa, you become a resident, it's easy. And when you become a resident, that doesn't affect your status as as per such as in the UK for your citizenship. You still are a citizen of the UK or if you was in the US, you're st unless you, uh, what do you call it, um, you can thingy your, your citizenship, you can like renounce your citizenship. Some people do it. They've announced their citizenship in one country and then they just want to stay full on in this country, whether it's Turkey, Spain or wherever it is. And you just have your full whatever it is over there. Right. But you can be a resident of one place and have citizenship of the other. And you can actually earn a, a living based on you being a resident of another country. And again, I say Dubai because, you know, Dubai is just easy for me, right? Many people that I know have gone to Dubai and loads of English expats have moved to Dubai because they want to save money on tax. And that's what's been so attractive for people in the UK wanting to move to Dubai. And you probably hear about a lot of professionals in the crypto space and outside people that may be working real estate and everything else, they go to Dubai. Because it's low tax, literally zero tax, low tax. It's low tax on capital gains tax, low, low employee income tax as well, right? So, 
um yeah this whole thing when i heard it, i just said damn i need to make a video on this just straight away because i've been there in the past with people yeah, money laundering yeah, in crypto yeah, yeah money but they don't understand what they're talking about and it's a shame because people need to learn to educate themselves so they can understand because saying stuff like that to someone could get you sued straight up and then they could end up getting sued and if the person's got enough money and power they could sue this other person for saying these because it, it's like defamation of character. And if they, if this person has enough power to sue this other person, they could take the house. And if they've got kids, it's a shame because they're going around saying these words to someone that's not true. I'm just using me and whoever as an example. Uh, and then, yeah, you could, or her as an example. And then, you know, she could, she could sue this person and then, it could just become a big problem for them if she wins the case because you know defamation of character you have to have serious proof for that kind of stuff and i don't want people thinking that just because you make money in crypto and then you decide actually i want to cash this out in another country it does not make you a money launderer tips that you can do right when i invest in crypto I always have, or if I make money in crypto, let's say I'm, I'm doing a sponsored video or something, because now they're going to do sponsors. Uh, I keep track records of everything, right? If I'm selling crypto on an exchange, I print that out. I print out the exact sum of what I, I've, I've taken out, uh, if I've, what I've sold. And I, I take, you can go into the history of every, sorry, crypto exchange, whether it's Coinbase, Binance, whatever you use, I use Coinbase. It's just so simple when I sell out, right? I think the last cash payment I took out in Coinbase was about 70,000, 74,000, or something like that. You saw the video a while ago when I was talking about cashing out and how to cash out, right? Or how to withdraw your money. I can't remember what it was. Um, but I, I take, I take screenshots. I take, I take the PDF files of the statement so I can in the future show it as proof. And you need to have a good track record. If you're in crypto and you want to cash out large lump sums and you do not want to get caught up in something like this, have your proof. Act like a boss and make sure you've got your proof for when that time comes. So you can say, look, this is what I cashed out. This is what it is. This is the money I've left for tax. There you go. And that's how I handle it. Yeah. And you have to, because the tax man will come around. And if you try to avoid him, you will get done. It's just that simple. And then if you, if you decide, like, if you do something illegal, which I do not recommend anyone does, whether it's making drugs and selling it. And maybe people do that in crypto. They, they make drugs and they say, Oh, you can pay me in Bitcoin or I don't know. But I remember like the whole silk rally. Silk Road, whatever it was years ago. And that, again, that, that's the fine example of this whole thing. So people have used crypto as well as fiat currency for that kind of thing. But I want you to understand the difference between someone taking money from an illegal source, whether it's from someone's bank account. I've seen that crap in the past or it's because someone's, you know, you, you know what I mean? Uh, compared to, uh, actually you, you invest in your hard earned money. Your money's just gone sky high because you made smart investments. And now you're thinking about how you can sell out to make massive gains and the best way to do it without getting hit so much on tax. And that's it. It's that simple. And I really hope the people, uh, I don't know, maybe her family will watch this. I really hope that she shares it to them uh, so they can look and understand and learn about the financial system because they have no clue whatsoever. And it's kind of interesting because I think her family, I think her father is in property, which means he should understand a bit about the financial system. I understand it clearly. I and mean, if I'm getting into this stuff, I need to know what's going on. I need to understand how to sell money, how to do it all above board, you know, which exchanges are regulated. So when I cash out, I know it's that simple. So you guys could do the same thing. You can go onto these exchanges. You can go on, you know, keep track records of all the things that you're selling. If you are taking profits in crypto, make sure you have your track record so no one can say nothing to you. And if they try to say it behind your back, they can't touch you because you're above them and you have your backup. You have all the proof and evidence that you need when you come to cashing out. And yeah, it's just simple. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a little tip that I would recommend. Keep track records of everything. Uh, do not get involved with people that do things like that. Like, I, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't deal with people like that. 
Yeah, because it's just not my vibe. And if you watch my channel, you know I'm a happy, bubbly kind of guy. I like to laugh, make people laugh, make crazy gains. And yeah, I've just been fortunate enough to realize, and it's not just me, I've seen other YouTubers. Cheeky Crypto, shout out to you guys as well. I'll see you guys. I might give you guys a little shout one time, you know, because I know you're in Dubai as well. Uh, it's just, it's just, we see the easiest way to save money is by going to places like your Dubai or, like I said, Bahamas or wherever it is. In her case, it was obviously going to Dubai because that's just the easiest way to cash out without having to get hit with so much tax, uh, so much tax. So yeah, drop your comments down below. What do you think of this? It was very different, but I know some of you may get hit with this in the future because the crypto market's going up and you guys might make insane gains. And when you start making six figures like she has, they're going to start saying you might get jealous people in your family. I've seen it with her. You'll get jealous people in your family. Um, people will just start to hate. Uh, they're jealous because you've come into a load of money, which they don't have. And the first and, you know, if they want to bring you down to their level and knock you down because they can't knock you down financially, they have to say silly things that they do not understand. So I really hope that her family educates themselves. Uh, and hopefully this is some form of an education for your, you know, you guys as well. Um, and nothing was financial advice. You can go on to Google and just Google, like, what is money laundering? Understand what the concept of money laundering is. People, you know, take money from a legal source and they try to... Uh, sort of like wash it to make it look like it's come from a clean source and people in crypto that invest in crypto that's not you and I don't want people to go around uh, to you at some point in the future go around and thinking that that's you because that's not people that made billions in Bitcoin are not money launderers they're just people that got in early on an investment and then I say to myself all these expats that go to the UK uh, from the UK to Dubai or whatever are they money launderers because they, they want to make money out there? No, not at all. And in, even if you had money in the UK and then you decide to go to another country, it, it doesn't make you any form of a launderer. You, I, I don't even care if I get censored on this one because I think it's an important topic to really talk about. So, yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this, I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed. If you're earning as a as an income in crypto because i'm pretty sure there's so many opportunities right now to earn an, an income let's say you start earning and you get paid in crypto and you say to yourself well you know what i can either sell this crypto you know someone pays you in crypto you need to sell it your crypto company you need to sell it do you sell it from your crypto.com do you sell it to your coinbase and if you do you have to pay the u if you're in the uk for example i don't i can't remember what a I think US is similar tax, maybe 20% tax, right? If you want to avoid that, you can look for other places. And so far, the, Dubai has been like the most popular one. So you can go to Dubai. You can then become a resident of Dubai. You can then, once you've got your residency, you can set up your bank account and everything else. And then once you start receiving payments from these crypto firms, whatever it is, then you can start earning that for free, zero tax. Because in Dubai, it's zero tax. Zero capital gains tax, zero employee, ta employee tax. And that's why Dubai has been so popular to many people, many expats that have moved out there and live there today. And I think in the future, many people in the UK will continue to move out there. And yeah, just because it, it helps people in the long term, uh, financially. And that's what this world's about. And it's like you financially, you're, you're watching this channel because financially you want to be free. It's that simple, right? Otherwise, why are you here? So um, just pay attention to what people say around you, educate them, make sure they understand the difference of uh, this whole money laundering thing and you invest in and choosing where you want to take your profits. And hopefully everybody just continues to make money and be happy. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it here. If it's helpful, drop that like, give me a subscribe. I'm, I'm flipping got a headache. Like that discussion, because like, I was talking to my mum about it. I was like, oh, mum, this is mad. <laughs> so I have to make a video on this quick. I don't care. It's flipping. It's about one o'clock at night. At the time of recording this video, you might watch it now, it might be like in the morning for you, I don't know, but um, yeah, it's just late here. And I just had to have, I, just, I said, I need to get it out now. Just like, go to sleep, it's late. I said, okay, go to sleep. I said, if I go to sleep, I ain't gonna remember half of what we were just talking about. <laughs> I wanna get it out now while it's fresh in my head. I got a headache. This, this gave me a headache. So, um, yeah, hope this was helpful. Hope it was helpful. Drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're new. Stick around. I'm gonna be going, uh, bringing all kind of cra uh, crazy videos. Kind of get it out. I'm tired. I need to sleep.
and the people that do watch this and you do not understand about crypto, go educate yourself, please. Seriously important. Learn what the difference between people that have money and decide to sell out in one country or decide to sell it in another country. Learn the difference. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Cheers. Oh,